could it be? Some despair girl shit going on right here. Ooh. Hello, everybody. Ooh. <sighs> also, I don't know if this is a good graphics or not. We'll see. Actually, I wonder if I can play around with it right now. But anyway, welcome to my stream of Ultra Despair Girls Danganronpa. Another episode. Why not? Why not get the episode in between? <laughs> Number two and three. And also everything else that happened. Oof, the anime too. I guess that's during the anime. Huh. Oh well. Hello everybody. Let's go right into it. Oh god, that scared me. Oh, he's too small to die. Come genocide jack mode for those who just want to enjoy the story. Working hard for a no work girl mode. English. Ah, uh, yes, normal. I guess I'll start. First, let's set up your camera. Without a camera, you can automatically follow the character you're controlling. And with manual camera, you can control the camera with the mouse. This can be changed in options later on, so choose the one you like for now. Um, Manual? Oh! Look at that! It's Dragon Blade. Thank you for the five months. Ah, get my fave tingle tingle. <laughs> On my anniversary. Hooray! Yum. Let's do auto. Let's see how that goes. If it might be really bad. According to what I've heard, the world is round. Hello, where's subtitles? Is that really true? Earth might have the shape of. Like that spiky lump of sugar your grandma would wrap in a tissue. But I don't really know for sure. It's not like I've actually seen the shape of the earth. In the same way, I've never actually seen most things that are considered common knowledge. Common knowledge in what we take for granted. We base our lives around such uncertain things. Well... Not that it matters for me. I mean, my world isn't even big enough to worry about stuff like the shape of the earth or common knowledge. In fact, it's pretty small. So small that it's actually a little funny. This is my world. This two-bedroom apartment that I live in is my world. My life doesn't extend beyond these walls. But it's not like I'm a shut-in or anything. I am actually imprisoned inside this room. Hello, Kat. My name is Komaru Naegi. I'm a completely normal high school girl who lives an abnormal daily life. humans can adapt. I've learned that firsthand through this imprisonment. But it's not like I've completely given up, of course. 
If I had, I wouldn't do things like change my uniform every morning. I just don't want to get my hopes up too much. Because through this imprisonment, I've learned too much about the horrifying despair that always follows hope. Huh? Jeez, it's finally breakfast! I know, huh? Time I'm starved in here! Just like our brother! But anyway, about this whole imprisonment. Unfortunately, even I, the victim, have no clue whatsoever. Ever since I've been taken by strange people into this strange place, I want a Japanese style this morning. Receiving meals for breakfast, lunch, and dinner is the only communication I have with the outside. I haven't seen the culprit's face, or even heard their voice. I still don't even know why I'm imprisoned here. <laughs> yep, wakey wakey, eggs and bacon. normal and unfair the situation is, this is my world and my daily life now, so it can't be helped. See? Sucks, right? My story ended before it even began. It's not like I still have hope that something sudden will happen after all this time. <laughs> huh? What? What happened? Could it be? Did someone come to rescue me? <laughs> Please, save me! I'm trapped in here! I'm begging you! Please, save me! <laughs> I don't want to live this life anymore! <laughs> Please, open the door! She finished breakfast. Wait, what? What's going on? Yep, that is the important question. Uh oh. Oh no! Hold up, this, 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 this camera though. Hold up! Can I switch it? Oh, there you go. Hmm. Hmm. Come here. Ah! What am I supposed to do? This is scary. I'm running. Where's the elevator? Why is there a fire? I can't get through. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh no. A black and white bear? What should I do? What should I do? Run! Someone help me! Oh God. <laughs> Yeah. 
You must be Komaru Nayagi. Future Foundation, 14th Division, Byakuya Togami. Bitch! <laughs> I almost died! Don't get the wrong idea and start crying. I'm not the one who imprisoned you here. What? Actually, I'm here to rescue you. You sure? I feel this is lies. <laughs> Future Foundation received intel that a captive was imprisoned somewhere inside this building. Future Foundation? It would appear that intel was correct. However... What is the meaning of this? What are all these vermin Monokumas doing here? Monokuma? No matter how you look at it, the timing is just too perfect. Just as we show up, a riot breaks out. No, they must have known we were coming. Oh. A riot? Perhaps the intel itself was a trap to lure us here. Uh, um... What, what do you mean, riot? What's going on outside? And that black and white bear thing back there, what was that? What's going on? So you don't even know Monokuma? That kind of ignorance must be nice. He was just like that the first time I met him. Him? You really don't know anything, do you? I guess I'll tell you. But it will have to wait. Now's no time for talk. Uh huh? Oh my god! More of them! What should I do? Should. Do you really have an option other than run? It's a hacking gun developed by Future Foundation. It shoots program codes with electromagnetic waves. It appears to be effective against these Monokumas. Uh. Though you should have discerned that from the test shot. What? Read the operation instructions included with the gun. You're on your own from here. What? What do you mean? You can run, can't you? I'm busy now. Yeah, now that you I asshole. See these annoying bears. I can't just leave them be. Run. But where would I go? A member of Future Foundation is on standby at the restaurant across the street. <laughs> Hurry up and go. You're just in the way here. Dana. <laughs> Man, Viyakia just like pew pew all day long. Oh. <laughs> and I'm just like concerned. People are just eating regularly while there's a Welcome. death going on. A table for one. Huh? Bear attack. A bear. Bears. Bears everywhere. Yes, now please. Oh, the military. Paramedics. Hurry. If we don't hurry. Miss, please keep your voice down. You're disturbing the other customers. Who cares about that? Hurry. All right, fine. Please uh, just be quiet, me, okay? One order of. Relax and stay calm. Uh. Hello? Police? 
Some suspicious girl is. Oh, she dead. <laughs> that bitch be dead. I was like, you gotta die, and she died. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it was gonna happen too. I was like, you gonna die. <laughs> she died. Oh no, don't put me back in the game now. Pew pew them. I gotta pew pew them, even though I can't pew pew for shit. Oh no, what am I supposed to do? Uh, uh, uh. It's time for a tutorial. If you press the right mouse button. You ready the hacking gun? Oh no. The mouse focuses the the reticle. You press the left mouse button with the gun with the gun out. You fire the truth bullet. Pew. Pressing F key opens the truth bullet selection menu. You can switch truth bullets with the one to eight key. You can also switch truth bullets outside the menu with one to eight key. Try using all the multicolored bu truth bullets against the Monokuma. Aw, oh, shit. This makes no sense. Why is this happening? This gun is amazing. I'm definitely going to get out of here. They're dead. They're all dead. What's with this bear? Jeez, enough already. You'll be safe. What is this? What is going on? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> it's the TV. <laughs> huh. Masaru, do zombies really say rawr like that? I'm really having trouble getting past that, you know? Mm, oh my God. Who cares? I told you, style is important for this kind of thing. What? what kids doing with that body? Hey, what are you doing? Be more serious. Didn't I tell you this broadcast was important? This is the Warriors of Hope's keynote address. Jeez, what are you so mad about? Oh wait, I bet you want to play zombie too, huh, Nagisa? Stop that! Nagisa. Nothing more than a penal colony for filthy criminals. It is on this site that we've decided to build 
A paradise of children, for children, by children. And therefore, what? all of you adults will no longer be needed. Goodbye. Bye. Please stand by. What? Oh, hello. Oh, now we're hitting the start. <laughs> the opening. Yay, guys, here we go. With another Danganronpa game. I can't believe we gonna die. Ah, uh, my back. Prologue. Warriors of Hope. Or the Warriors of Hope. Around a year and a half ago, a certain incident completely changed the world. Apparently, the origin of the incident was a student movement at a certain school, but the school covered it up. So it was too late when the world finally realized it grew out of control, becoming a monster that swallowed the entire world. It couldn't have just been some riot or student protest. It had to be something far deeper. And it was! What do you want, Cap? That much should be obvious. It did come from Hope's Peak Academy, after all. Eventually, the incident grew so much in strength and scale that it threw the world into despair. Theft, arson, brutality, murder. The violent crime rate went off the charts. Violence spawned revenge, which fueled more violence, driving the crime rate even higher. Before long, a global war broke out. A war not for land or ideals, but only for the sake of war. A war that tainted the world with despair. But even with all this evil and chaos, I had complete faith in my world. And even when it felt like I was falling, I kept believing. It's still okay. It's all right. Then, I found out that seven of my classmates had died suspiciously. I fell further still. But even then, I kept telling myself, it's all going to be fine. Don't be afraid. But the realization that it was too late came to me like the ground rushing up to break my fall. A group of men I had never seen before broke into my house and separated me from my family. The world I had been living in up to that moment collapsed. Everything changed. And since that horrible and unjust imprisonment, a year and a half passed. I was supposed to be a normal high school girl, but instead, I became a complacent prisoner. And what was waiting for me at the end of that despair was a despair even deeper, even worse. There's no use in keeping hope. That's what I was forced to realize once again. Oh my god, the monokumas are so derpy. I would have stayed in my room forever.
No one's alive. Oh. Yep, everyone's dead. Thank you. I gotta run. That's right. That Biakia guy said that someone is supposed to be here, right? Yeah, now we gotta find them. <sighs> okay. That suit. It's the same as that Biakia guy's. Ooh. Uh, are you all right? Who, who are you? You shouldn't be here. Hurry up and run. Uh. Um, you're from Future Foundation, right? How? Oh, how did you know? I... I was told by a guy named Byakuya Tagami to meet you here. Can't stop it. Could you be? Are you a captive? Go to the park. Head through this door and go straight down the road. There should be a Future Foundation helicopter there. Hurry, go. But... Oh shit. Hurry. You gotta get out of here. I I'm sorry. Hey, over here. I'll take you all on. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Aw, he was so brave. Too bad he's dead. It's in ruins. Dad, Mom, Makoto. Oof. I think they didn't notice me. What is your name? K Komaru. It's Komaru Naegi. Looks like that information about a captive in this town was correct. So, where is Byakuya Togami? Is he safe? He, he told me to run, so I, I haven't seen him since. I see. I can't reach him, so I thought he might be in danger. Ooh. But then again, this is Byakuya Togami we're talking about. I'm sure he can handle himself. He usually can, because he's an asshole. But, but, but there was someone from Future Foundation getting attacked in the restaurant back there! Please, you have to go save him! Understood. I'll go back for him. I hope you can make it in time. Um, what exactly is going on here? I still have no idea what's happening. I don't know who you are, or where I am, or anything! I see. Well, we don't have much time, so I'll give you the short version. First off, we're from an organization called Future Foundation. We're trying to help the world recover from the incident. You know what I'm referring to? I do. It's behind your imprisonment. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. It was more than just an incident. It shook the foundations of society to the core. And it wasn't just one. Various incidents broke out all over the world. And then the war. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history includes that, too. Because of all of this, the world just crumbled. But in all that chaos, Future Foundation is trying the best we can to bring hope back to this world. Hello, is that who I think it is? Ikura? Izuma, I mean? Oh, and as for this town... Are you alright? Are you following? Uh, yeah. It's just a lot to take in, that's all. It's hard to hear. 
I'm sorry, but you need to know. This town is an island off the coast and controlled by a powerful IT corporation. It's commonly called Toa City. Toa City used to just be a nickname, but now it's what everyone calls it. Ever since the government stopped functioning, due to the tragedy, Toa Group and their cutting-edge technology are running the show here. Toa Group is a corporation that played a huge role in rebuilding the world. Ever since the tragedy, air pollution has made a lot of the planet uninhabitable. But Toa Group developed an air purifier that can clean massive quantities of air at a time. They invented it only three months after the safety order to stay indoors was given. Even after all this time, people all over the world are still clamoring for it. <laughs> but the clean air isn't the only thing that draws people to this town. Well, the interesting is I don't really have to talk in this one, which is cool. Because of Toa Group's influence, this city has suffered far less damage than others. And because it's relatively unaffected by the incident, it's of special interest to us. But this kind of riot going on in Toa City, this is something we never anticipated. So it's a riot? Why is something like this happening? Honestly, even we have no clue whatsoever about what's happening here. Where those Monokumas came from, why they're attacking the city, and that broadcast by those creepy kids. None of it makes any sense at all. The only thing we know for sure is that something horrible is happening here. We need to get more intel, but our priority is to escape. We need to leave, at least for now. Yeah, you're right. We need to hurry and escape. We'd probably get killed in a place like this. And I'm... Um, I mean, I want to see my family again. It's been so long, I... Oh, about your family. Hold it. What was that? Do you hear that? Is that... singing? Over there! <laughs> A kid? Get back! This way! Get off! Oh, jeez. Is that my boy? <laughs> Is that my boy? Are you okay? My boy? <laughs> my crazy crazy hype man boy? <laughs> Is that you? You look completely exhausted. My boy! Who are you? No cat, not you. Me? Oh. My name's not really important. After all, 
I'm just a lowly servant. This boy. <laughs> you love him so much. And you look like a serial killer. I had heard this town would be safe. My boy! So the refuge. Then the riots. My boy! He's so precious. I love him and his crazy fuckingness. Oof. And on top of that, I get captured by them. I've seriously got no luck at all. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. But because I pleaded for my life, they allowed me to live as their servant. Oh my god. I love how like when when <laughs> uh Nagito fucking speaks. Cause he's just like, oh well I landed in really, really bad shit. But you know, I also had some good shit happen too. <laughs> and he's just like, eh. He's just like, eh, through life. He's like, whatever. Everything's bad. That shit that's gonna happen ends up good anyway. <laughs> He's amazing. I love him. Uh, um, also, he has some sexy music going on right here. What's going on? Uh, I'm being rude. Enough about me. Let's talk about you. Either you truly are completely exhausted, or you're simply afraid to wake up and face reality. You were asleep the full two days. Two days? I think I know why. A full two days. More than enough time for the world to change completely. Yes, even our world can change just that quickly. Like a watercolor painting caught in the rain. Wow, my boy. Speak. Speak to me, sweet nothings. Oh, goo. But you're more concerned about yourself than the world right now, correct? You're wondering what's to become of you now that you're trapped here in this place. This boy. What's going to happen to me? <sighs> oh my god. Hold <laughs> on, you turn on the fan, I'm dying. It's getting hot in here. <sighs> I know why he's wearing the glove. Cause I know. A second game. Apologies. Your reaction was so normal. It surprised me a little. <laughs> you honestly don't have a single unique characteristic. Wow, that's rude. Uh, um... Well, no need to be depressed about it. This world is filled with unremarkable people. And the only one capable of empathizing with common, boring people is a common, boring person like yourself. This boy. This is why you don't get nobody to date you, <laughs> Nagita. So, that's why you pass. Oh my god. What, what are you talking about? Who knew you could compliment somebody while also not complimenting them at the same time? Well, that is just my personal opinion. It doesn't matter to them at all. Which means I'll need you to take a proper test. Dolphook? A test? Ah, but before that, I'll return this to you. Yay! I think how he's got one red button on the right side, like Monokuma's eye. Yeah, he does! The, the hacking gun! I borrowed it from you without permission. Sorry. But I absolutely had to analyze its capabilities. It sure is an amazing little machine. A device that forcibly hacks machines by shooting program codes with electromagnetism. However, it was a bit too powerful. I made a few modifications for game balance purposes. The hook? Game balance? Oh, no need to worry. You'll have the opportunity to upgrade it later. Are you breaking the fourth wall on me? Uh, um, I have no idea what you're talking about. Me neither! I understand how you feel, but it's about time you started the test. If 
you can safely make it all the way to where everyone is waiting, you pass. Everyone? You'll meet them when you get there. However, even after you meet everyone, be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. If you don't want to die, that is. Oh my god. Speak to me like this all the time. I'll be going on ahead. What the heck? What is going on now? Hmm. Time for another tutorial! It looks like you have a team Move. Move is a truth bullet that can activate some machines with super-powered hacking magic. Try it on that power panel with the red light. Oh, and I know you probably remember, but you can press the F key to change ammo. Wait, can I also press... Oh, I guess not. Hmm. But how? Is that five? Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Oh. Okay. It's unlocked. But I'm scared. Carol, that's unfortunately you can't be scared. I'm scared. Time for another tutorial. Now that you've put in some time with the hacking gun, let me tell you something. The red left eye is weak is a weak point for all Monokumas. Shoot the weak point with break. And most Monokumas go down with one shot. Plus after you hit a weak, a weak spot, break ammo will give you one power a shot. I can't speak Lou. If what it's one hell of a shot. One that's way stronger than the regular break. Now that's killing two birds with one stone. If you think you're so hot, why not try aiming for the weak spot? Oh god. Wait, a lot of the game with the purple hair waifu. I don't know. They're in it pretty badly. There it is again. The gun. It's weaker. It is weaker. Is this the game balance that guy was talking about? It is weaker and it makes me so sad. This full, I don't need it. Oof, this is so spooky. Go up to the room past the stairs. Never again, man. Never again. Where's my one? There we go. Fuck. Can't shoot for shit. <laughs> can sign your back too. We accept presents as well. Wow. I'm always in the mood for sweets. However, salty flavors are no good. 
Those disgusting tastes are never worth putting in your mouth. Mm, I want to drive a train someday, but can't. I want to go inside a chimney. Well. Huh. too boastful to be a leader. A true leader is calm and dignified. But I am the leader. We all agreed on it. All uh -huh. you win rock, paper, scissors. Doesn't matter. I'm still the leader. I won, so I'm the leader. The leader! Oh, he's so cute. Fine, fine. You're the leader. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am the sage. Nagisa Shingetsu. I am the vice leader of sorts. During my time at Hope's Peak Elementary, I was known as Little Ultimate Social Studies. Huh? Hope's Peak? You mean that Hope's Peak? There is an elementary school? Hmm? Why should that surprise you? I. I, I didn't know there was an elementary school affiliated with the academy. Me neither. Such an ignorant woman. Anyway, who's next? Perhaps Jotaro? Uh, wait. Before I go, can I practice introducing myself? Um, what was I gonna say? Uh, I'm the priest, Jotaro Komori. And you specialize in arts and crafts, making you little ultimate art, correct? Moving on. You said what I was gonna say. The whole thing. <laughs> oh, my chest itches. I wish I could scratch it raw. Reach inside and scrape my nails on it. Your speeches are always too long. It's like how an elephant's nose is so long. But then again, giraffe necks are long too. And also waiting for a plane takes too long, and spring break is too long? Uh, um... Well, anyway, don't worry about Jatiro. He's a latchkey kid. It made him a bit mental. It's not that I dislike latchkey kids, though. Some kids say they have magical powers. Isn't that awesome? You might get caught inside a magical parallel universe! Oh, sorry for the late introduction. My name's Katoka Utsugi, and I play the role of fighter. I was called Little Ultimate Drama, but that was a long time ago, so I'll leave that part out. My favorite food is peeled chestnuts. My least favorite food is unpeeled chestnuts. Well, <laughs> aren't you surprised? They're both chestnuts. Uh, um, <laughs> and hey, did you know? Kangaroos can jump backwards, and, and, and believe it or not, snakes have ears! Ew! <laughs> yeah, they got little ear holes. Yes, yes, that's all very nice. Our next introduction is Monica. Okies. Monica is a mage. And when I attended elementary school, I was called the Little Ultimate Homeroom. I'm sure you're familiar with it, right? Homeroom? Monica just loves homeroom! The first hour of the day when we can share our thoughts. And that is why, even in the Warriors of Hope, I'm the life of the party! Uh, but... You are familiar with the Warriors of Hope. N no 
The warriors of hope are heroes who save the world from demons. Isn't that amazing? We're a party of heroes that hunt down demons. But nobody really wants me in the group. And I'm the party leader, which makes me the number one king of this town. Uh, um, you, you kids are just joking, right? With demons and kings. Joking around? I mean, you guys are just kids, right? For a bunch of kids to be doing this kind of stuff. Just kids? Hmm? Aww. That's the only thing I can say. Just aww. Since you're an about to be, we were thinking, well, doesn't matter. You're clearly a demon. Adults, children, the power structure remains the same. The subjects have merely been switched. With our Monokumas, you'll be nothing more than a squashed bug beneath our feet. Splattered like the sound of bloody chopped meat. <laughs> Intestines falling out of you like sausages. <laughs> oh, stop that, Jotaro. If you say it like that, she'll think we're joking. Huh? Our Monokumas? So the ones controlling those Monokumas out there are... That's right! Isn't it so cool? The Monokumas obey any order we give them. All thanks to Monica's magic. Yeah, that's our mage. She can use magic even without magic circles. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You're so nice. Yeah! <laughs> Monica's smile is so adorbs. Oh, I just want to smother you in syrup and eat you up. N no! Stop it! Stop! Stop? Which part? If what you're saying is true, please, stop all of this! We will not. We will never stop until we've completed our paradise. Paradise? Oh, you didn't hear our address? A paradise made of children, by children, for children. We're gonna kill all the adults in this town and make a paradise just for kids! Isn't it awesome? No school or homework in paradise! Woohoo! Why must fireflies die so young? Kudos. And since our paradise is for children only, there won't be any more pedophiles either. What? <laughs> but can we keep the ice cream store? The ice cream didn't do anything wrong. What are you saying? What are you talking about? It doesn't make any sense. Monica says it, then white is black, cats are dogs, and um, what else? Oh, please, oh, please don't get mad. We'll kill a lot of adults, see? So just smile, okay? Hey, how dare you make Monica mad? That's the last straw. As the leader, I'm gonna hunt you down. H hunt? Let us play a game. You will be our demon prey. It's a really fun game. <laughs> a godly game. His eyes sparkled. It was Monica's idea, after all. And the name of the game is... Demon Hunting. Ta-da! Demon Hunting! Demon Hunting is a game where you release demons into Toa City. They're the targets. It's a super fun game where the warriors of hope fight to see who takes down the demon first. Wow, that sounds super fun. And our very own Monica came up with it. See, Monica? We're going to play our special game. No need to be upset now, right? Hmm. Yes, yes, so exciting. Let's do it. Come on, hurry up and let's do it. No. 
target, you mean? You, hurry up and prepare the device. Uh -huh. What is this? This wristband is a custom-made device given to the targets of the game. Hello, creepy. <laughs> It would be best if you didn't try to remove it. Any tampering with it, and you'll go boom. Boom? Okay, then. Now we're ready. All right, let's go hunting. W wait, wait, hold on. This is a break, isn't it? You're just kidding around. You've seen what we've accomplished so far. This is no joke. For an adult, you sure are dense. No, no, you don't understand. I'd be no good at this game. If you throw me into that town, I, I just get killed immediately. I'm, that's no fun, right? Ooh, so modest. But we know you don't die easy. You passed that test earlier. That was only because I had this gun. Anyway, that test was splendid. It was amazing how you were able to evade those Monokumas and make it this far. I guess it's all thanks to my advice from earlier. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this boy. Talk to me more! Okay. Advice from earlier? However, even after you meet everyone, be sure to keep that gun of yours a secret. If you don't want to die, that is. Oh, dude. Talking without the leader's permission. You're just a servant. Next time you talk without getting the okay from me, I'm gluing your mouth shut. <laughs> that is quite a scary thought. Well, let's get on with it. W why? What? Why are you doing something so cruel? I didn't even do anything bad. <laughs> oh, jeez, you're too funny! <laughs> I'm laughing so hard my cheeks hurt! We play the games because they're fun, duh! That's the only reason? You're only surprised because you aren't used to this way of doing things. This is just what we like. We do it because it's fun. And that truly is the only reason. Searching for meaning in the meaningless is for adults. Children are untainted by such futility. But to tell you the truth, I would rather not play this game. There is still much work to be done to build our paradise. Yet here we are playing games. Why? Why don't you stop? We cannot do that. This is Monica's game. She said she wants it done. So it will be done. Monica is the princess. Everyone on our team tries to grant the princess's wish. And I love what Monica loves. So that's basically the situation. Thank you, Nagisa. Even though you're so busy, you did all this work for the sake of my game. I'll have to bake you some delicious cookies later as thanks. Y yeah. Thank you. A goo. Aw, that's so not fair. I want to eat Monica's cookies too. Hey, Monica, what about me, the leader? Wait, how can you kids just keep smiling like that? You're, you're not normal. Hmm, of course an adult sees this as abnormal. But who cares what adults say? Also, Kamaru Naegi, in your current situation, you don't have the right to say a thing. You cannot choose your path. Because this place you're in, it isn't a path at all. What? You are not on a path. You were falling into an abyss. The darkness gaping open beneath your feet. You are just going to fall and fall. Can't you feel the pull of gravity? What do you mean? She means this!
child's ears are... Wonderful ears! A child's eyes are... Adorable eyes! A child's mouth is... A great big mouth! Why is it so big? To gobble up the demons! <laughs> Let's say this particular demon will be worth an extra high score because it upset us. <laughs> then it looks like I'll win when I catch it. A game is different than reality, so that means even I can actually win. My, my. It's rare to see Jotaro so pumped, but it also makes him extra gross. That don't matter. At the end of the day, the one who wins is gonna be me, the leader. Now, now, it doesn't matter who wins. Just make sure you don't fight while playing the game. Well, anyway, do you guys want to get a cola or something? Ooh, a soda sounds great. Someone go buy some. Leader's orders! <laughs> and just like that, the pieces are in place. All that's left now is to wait for the despair. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Ooh. All right. Do your best, Miss Protagonist. My boy. With your lack of distinct characteristics. So common, so dull, so boring. This boy. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about being insulted but complimented at the same time. To be continued soon. Save your shit. Yeah. <laughs> Chapter One. Oh, hiccups. Crying for love and hell. Thanks for the biddies. <laughs> Celebrate, great girl. Ah, so that some kind of automaton robot. I see. I see. 
I like how they gave her the like the split leg thing. It's like here, see some leggy. <laughs> no wonder it sucks more than the other one. Well, that's modern technology for you. <laughs> I mean, it's not like this is sci-fi or something. It's borderline sci-fi at most. Jeez. You can smell it? You got a death wish or something? Hiding master from me will cut your life expectancy. No, 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 I'm I'm not hiding it. Ten, nine, eight, seven. What are you doing? If you don't give me my master by the time I get to zero. I'm gonna cut you like wet mochi! Four, three, two... Oh, hold on! I really don't know it! What? Tell me, you're Kamara Nagy, aren't you? I got it, right? Uh, I just told you that. Oh, did you? I, I, I can't help it, you know. I don't share memories with her. Her? M memories? G geez, stop saying stuff that makes no sense. Everything is confusing enough as it is. Whether you're an enemy or a friend. Well, you can call me your ally. Then come on! If we don't hurry, we're gonna get attacked! It, it's alright. Huh? No, it's it's alright. I can do it because I made a promise with him. <laughs> <laughs> It's a talent. Huh. An um, amazing talent that holds huh. incredible possibilities. I want to throw myself off the cliff. <laughs> no, don't go, please. Huh? Master, thank you. Thank you very much. Master that talent. Do it for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Fucking kill me. <laughs> Toku's fantasies are just like, no. <laughs> I feel sorry for Byakuya, because each time Toku has a fantasy, he's just like, ugh. Um, are you okay? <sighs> like I said, it will be alright. I can make good use of her now. I've learned a lot since then. We're gonna take them all down right here, right now. I'll, I'll smash them to pieces. Ooh, let's go. Um, oh, Omaru Naegi. I mean, Omaru. you're almost there. It's time for a tutorial. 
If you press the C key, you will switch with Genocide Jack. Not only does she not take damage, but she uses super strong attacks as well. Left mouse button to attack and shift key to evade. Left mouse button for a special key. Or hold it. Also, you can focus on enemies with the right mouse button and if you press the space key or the control key, you can unleash the super powerful slash list. Feel free to try it out. So how did you like using Genocide Jack? Oops, I forgot to mention. There's a time limit for using Genocide Jack. You use up the batteries on top left of the screen and you automatically revert to, to Toko. Also, you can't just use Slashless for limitlessly. Limitlessly. Charge was last with Lust Gauge. Charge the Lust Gauge on the bottom right and when it's full you can use Slashless. The Lust Gauge fills up when Genocide Jack defeats enemies. Do a single one gauge attack with a right mouse button space and a gauge combo with a right mouse button and control key. You're back to Rega Kamara with C. Anytime. So do be smart during battle. Oof. <sighs> that was all of them, right? Amazing. That was amazing. What was that just now? It's like you were a totally different person. Too casual. Huh? D -d Don't speak to me so casually. Like I'm one of your friends or something. I'm your senior. But, but you still haven't told me your name. I'm sure you're just going to forget it right away. But it's Toko Fukawa. Toko Fukawa? Oh, sorry for having such a boring name. I bet you think it's perfect for a hag like me, right? I, I don't think that at all. And anyway, what was that all about earlier? You were a completely different person. I couldn't tell you. What? I d don't remember. Didn't I already tell you? We don't share memories. Um, I don't really get it. Ugh, it's like I said, I have a split personality. That girl was Genocide Jack. Okay? You, you don't believe me, right? You think I'm just some filthy woman who's sick in the head. You're probably wondering how a stupid pig managed to learn how to talk, aren't you? I don't think that. Well, maybe the first bit? I mean, it's true that it's a little hard to believe, and I was pretty surprised. But if that's what you say, I believe you. It was a pretty drastic change, after all. You believe me just like that? What are you, stupid or something? <laughs> well, what was I supposed to say? Well, if you really are this stupid, that just makes this easier. It's just... I feel like I've heard the name Genocide Jack somewhere before. I... I see. So, you still remember. Well, no point in hiding it now. It was all over the talk shows back in the day, after all. Talk shows? Wait. Could it be? No. Never mind. Couldn't be. What? It's just... I feel like I've heard a similar name on the news about some serial killer. Yeah, that's the one. What? B but that was just in the old days. I, I've completely tamed her since then. Mm. Master commanded me to discover the secret, and I learned the stun gun does the trick. 
And depending on how much shock I give myself, after a while I go back to my normal self. <laughs> Isn't it great? It's all thanks to Master Biafia. You know, I'm low key wondering, like, where's Scarlet when you need her? <laughs> uh, anyway, it seems like a good skill to have. With that power, we can get through them easy. Oh. Don't be dense. Huh? Didn't I just say I need the stun gun to change? <laughs> My brain would fry if I just did it over and over. I can't just use it at will like that. Really? Anyway, what is your relationship with Master Byakuya? Hmm? Why do you have that hacking gun? I, I was saved by him earlier. He, he gave this gun to me. S saved? Master Byakuya saved you? Oh no. I will. I will protect Komaru Nayagi. I swear it on my life. <laughs> this is what had a character. Why is she dream these? It's not even reality. I swear in the name of the Togami family. <sighs> you better not get ahead of yourself just because you're ugly in a in a cute way. Why are you angry? Remember this. I won't let anyone interfere in my romance with Master. I'm going to rescue Master, and then, in the heat of the moment, we'll... <sighs> no, he will not, because he wants to run. He wants to run the other direction. <laughs> huh? Rescue? Oh, wait, hold on. Byakuya was captured? What, you just figured that out? Why would I even be here if it weren't for Master? He was probably ambushed by cowards. There's no way he'd just allow himself to be captured. I... I see. So, he was caught after all. You better not feel responsible for this. Your guilt would be an insult to my master. Wow. At least in that part, she knows. She's just like, you can't be sorry about this. You're right. My worrying won't change anything. <sighs> What's with this chick? What was that? N nothing. And watch your mouth. I'm so terribly sorry. It's fine. You're a lost cause anyway. But more importantly, I want to hurry up and find Master. Now is not the time to relax. You're right. We've got to get out of this building. Well then, after you. Why do I have to go first? You have Master's gun, don't you? But don't worry. When you're really in trouble, I'll save you. I can't have you dying on me. Now, come on. Stop staring off into space and get moving already. You're not dead yet. Ugh, fine. See if I can find anything else. What is this? Training potty? Well, <laughs> if it isn't your little buddy, maybe you should try riding on it. Hey, who are you calling a baby? You're offended, but you're still gonna ride it? Huh. This is surprisingly relaxing. Seriously? Oh, uh, what? Oh my god, this is how you save. <laughs> this is how you save! That is so funny! And I love the picture she's like, like on there. Just like me. Yeah, right. Right? Why didn't you deny it? <laughs> like, I love how that happens. 
That means you agree, don't you? Oh, just as I thought. Humans cannot be trusted. Humans? You are having delusions. I prefer to call it imagination. <laughs> Why is this shutter here? We can't even go down. This wasn't here when I was on the roof before. What's going on? You can't open it? It's impossible. There's no power. Then what should we do? Oh, don't worry. There's a mystical spell that magically opens the door. Let's chant it together. What? Seriously? Of course not. Obviously, we just have to look for the switch and turn on the power. Uh, oh, right. Ooh. Are those people d dead? Oh god, I have to read. Uh, he, he's dead, right? Well, obviously, you can't tell just by looking. What are you, dense? What are you doing? Are you an idiot? I'm trying not to look at the body. I I have a fear of blood. I see. Oh. You have a fear of blood. Didn't expect that. What's going on? What? I'm not allowed to have a girly side just because my other personality is a serial killer? Uh, I wasn't trying to be insulting. But, but if you're afraid, shouldn't you just stay away from it? I can't just keep saying I'm afraid. I need to overcome my fear of blood. After all, you gain meaning in life through personal growth. Um... That's a surprising, a positive outlook. Surprisingly. I thought you said you didn't want to be insulting. But I was just repeating master. This is not funny at all. Uh, I just can't stand it. Just the smell of blood is enough to make me faint. If master wants, I'll give up on that whole personal growth thing. Me neither, yo. That's a power panel. I wonder if we can do something to turn it on. Hmm. That might work. Okay then, let's go. Uh, um, Toko? About this gun. Wouldn't it be better if you used it? I'm allergic. To machines. Oh, <laughs> well, if you have allergies, then I guess it can't be helped. Mm. Anything in this room I want? Probably not. Ugh. Let's walk through the spookiness. down here? Can I not go down here? Oh, I guess not. My dead bodies. Which way to get out of here? that 
Who fucking does that? Ugh. Monokuma kid. I've seen this kid before. No, it's probably just another one. Those brats are all wearing helmets like this. Huh? Really? <laughs> but why are they wearing helmets? I, I don't know. These kids only ever talk to each other. Even at a time like this, they're playing around like a bunch of idiots. Just stupid brats. But isn't it dangerous? What if they get attacked by Monokumas? No, you don't get it. These brats are working with the Monokumas to kill all the adults. They're what? Kids killing adults? It's completely insane. But we can't just attack these brats. It's so frustrating. <laughs> anyway, Toko, what's that box next to that kid? Who knows? Maybe you should open it. Time for a tutorial. I'm sure this a smart gamer like you already knows, but truth bullets are a limited resource. Uh, there are exceptions like move, but worrying about exceptions is no li is no way to live. Truth bullets are replenished with item boxes, or by picking up the ones dropped by Monokumas. Other than bullets, you might find hearts to heal HP or batteries for Genocide Jack. Please apply yourself skillfully so you don't find yourself full of one item but empty of another. Giving this to us? Why help us like this? My guess is they're carrying out someone's order. Huh? Order? Who, who cares anyway? No point wasting our time worrying about mentally damaged kids. Well, that might be true, but it's fine. Jeez, you're slow. Hurry up already. Uh, okay. Hmm. They're here again. Ugh, good thing I'm okay with shooting, but God, I hate them. It's so much spoopier with just like these guys just doing their thing. Billy Milligan Royale. High school senior Sei Sunakosaka has 24 split personalities. After an unexpected turn of events, she obtains 23 new bodies. There's no need for 24 Sei Sunakosakas. The killing of me against me commences. This book isn't even worth throwing into the fire. You think so? Really? I thought it looked pretty good. So I'm well, sure an idiot like you would enjoy it, but I only acknowledge pure literature. Don't mess with me. I mean, look at this. He's using dissociative identity disorder as a plot a point. As a plot point, the heck? Looking fun at his subject without even considering how they feel. This is not professional. <laughs> I'm sure he's not writing about you specifically. Which reminds me. Oh, and speaking of dissociative identities, I wanted to ask you something. Genocide Jack isn't gonna kill me, right? I'm totally safe, right? No, she won't. She has a special thing about killing cute men. When it comes to Monokumas, I think she sees it as breaking them, not really killing them. But... But she threatened me and told me she'd kill me. Maybe it was just a threat, or maybe you're actually a cute guy. I'm a girl! <laughs> oh, I'm not so sure. You could be lying to me. There's no proof you're not a guy. Why would I lie like that for no reason? What, you want me to show you proof that I'm a girl? Are you an idiot? What'd you get all serious for? I was kidding. Oh, well, sorry. We just met. I'm not used to your brand of humor yet. Oh, get me past this door. 
Grand Painting Monokuma Road is reportedly the same kind that were involved in the incident. Are running among through Toa C City. The hows and whys are currently unknown. Evidence points to the involvement of the remnants of despair. Toa City is currently in a state of level 5 emergency alert. Evacuation is advised. Hmm. As long as there's no, like, spoopy Monokuma. Monitoring room. Ugh. Whoa. What is this place? Looks like a playground for those little brats. I've seen them playing around with that arcade machine before. Arcade machine? Dragon Rumpa, vanilla tutorial. The arcade machines those kids just left ain't no normal arcade machine. It actually displays the surveillance camera in the next room. The kids use the controls to work the monokumas in that room, just like a video game. Oh, the horror! This is the life of a game brain. Anyway, there's always a nearby strategy for rooms with a nearby arcade machine. At first glance, the room next door looks dangerous with all the monokumas around. But if you use a certain route, you can get past without getting caught. Now then, try shooting the move at the arcade machine, then check the next door. Oh, that's how I can change it faster. Nanakuma. There's a lot of them lurking around. Instead of fighting, it might be better to run. Huh. Okay, okay, okay. We run down here, up here, around, around, around. It'll be a super long way, but it might be a better way. Hmm. Did you figure out the best route for the getting past those monokumas? By pressing the F1 key, you can see the arcade machine's video again. But this will leave you vulnerable, so be very careful. We've got to hurry. We don't want to be caught. Congratulations! We did it! We're finally out, but... Where are we? What? You don't know? Don't you live in the city? I wouldn't call it living. I was just imprisoned in an apartment the whole time. I already make adorable noises though, Messy. Imprisoned, huh? That's an interesting backstory. But how did you know I was living in this town? Huh? And while I'm at it, this has been on my mind for a while. You said something when we first met. I already make cute noises, Messy. I can't already give you what I already give. You said you must be Komaru Naegi. Toko... How did you know about me? D don't get all detective mode on me out of nowhere. You caught me off guard. Well, I think I deserve to know. It's not some big secret or anything. On the helicopter ride over, Master mentioned you and... Helicopter? You mean Future Foundations? You're a member of Future Foundation? I can't make more, Messy. It just happens when it happens. Well, I'm more like an intern. That's why I don't have my own uniform. Messy! Thank you for the sub! Jabs! Woo! Oh, that's why you aren't in a suit. S such a cheap ass organization. They could have at least given me a uniform. Ugh. When will I finally get to change out of this old ratty thing? You only have that one uniform, huh? Yeah. But I'll endure it for a little bit longer. I made a promise with Master. Oh my god. He said, if I can prove I can control her, 
I get to be an official member. Oh no. <laughs> Toko, you must never leave my side. Protect me always. <laughs> Why? That is your purpose. Your destiny. But I'm not an official member. Shh. Enough with the excuses. <laughs> you are my property. <laughs> I own you like livestock. What is with this? Yes, I'm your livestock. Oh my god. Toko, no. My pig. Yes, I'm your pig. <laughs> hey, pig. Repeat the promise you made with me. Uh, uh, oink, oink, oink. <laughs> In English, fool. <laughs> that sounds familiar. I promise to never let Genocide Jack kill another human being. Then I become an official member. I need you. You must never <laughs> break that promise. I feel like there's like some truth in these fantasies, but also very much exaggerations everywhere. Oink. Oink. Oh my god. Oink. 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 Huh? What's with that face? It's like you're looking at a pig. Did I look that weird? No, not at all. You didn't look disgustingly gross at all. She totally did. I didn't ask you if it was gross. I just said weird. Oh, uh, sorry. Jeez. Even this immature schoolgirl treats me like an intern. Oh my god. Mm. And even that occult moron and the swimming idiot bimbo are official members. Wow. You sure give your friends nice nicknames. Hi, Seeker. <laughs> he came at an interesting time. <laughs> They're not my friends. My whole life I've never had a friend. They are your friends. And now you go making me remember stuff like that. Stop prodding my mental wounds, girl! I didn't mean to. Hm. Anyway, who cares about having friends? I have Master Biakia. And as long as I have Master, I don't need anything or anyone else. To actually care about someone that much? That's a pretty amazing feeling. But I got separated from my precious Master thanks to these damn riots. Now I'm all alone. Of course I did sneak onto the helicopter without Master. Or anyone else knowing. Wait, so ever since then you've been alone? Then who told you Biakia was captured? Huh? Oh, well, a lot of things happened. A and more importantly, what are you going to do from here on? Me? Well, I guess there's no choice but to escape. I'll be killed if I stay in this town, right? No, Toko didn't die. Toko, Biakia, the future telling guy, Naegi, uh, I mean, Komoeda. Yeah, know it. Is Naegi Komoeda? Yeah, Komoeda didn't die. Uh, shit, a lot of people didn't die. But you, you want to look for Byakuya, right? I know that's what you want, but but I'm just so scared. I can't help it. I I feel so afraid. Yeah, Kyoko and Oi. I feel trapped. No matter what I do, I'll end up getting killed. So, listen, I know this is an unfair request, but... Fine. Huh? You want me to tag along with you, right? Fine, I'll go with you. It... It's... Okay? Th there's no other choice. As a member of Future Foundation, it's my duty to protect you. Thank you so much, Toko. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Huggles. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Guess what's not Ria? <laughs> her having her pig fantasy. Now, um, the rules of the killing game is that, um, 
you have to get away with murder. And then, um, if you win, uh, everyone else dies, you don't die, because you're the blackened. But if you lose, you die. Um, later on, as the first game progressed, we found out that we went through this one part of the killing game or whatever, or story, where uh, Monokumo changed the game slightly in order for us to like find out the truth of Hope's Peak Academy, and we did. And we killed the mastermind who was actually uh, my, my fave, my fave girl, forgot her name, fuck, Junko in Oshima. And then, you know, everything went to shit. So yeah. From the bottom of my heart, just thank God I met Toko. God, just thank me directly. But uh, are you sure about this? Uh, what about your search for Byakuya? Th there's no need for you to worry about that. I've been thinking up a plan. Oh, you're right. An amazing girl like you would have a plan for sure. No point in me worrying. Hmm. But I'm glad. Ever since I was imprisoned, I've been all alone. I couldn't depend on anyone else. So I'm really happy you're with me. So, so happy. Y you don't have to repeat yourself. I heard you the first time. Now, do you know a way out? I don't know anything about this city either. I don't know where we should go. You're right. We have to figure out more about this town first. This town is an island off the coast and controlled by a powerful IT corporation. It's commonly called Toa City. That's right. I heard this town is on an island, which means... Hey, Toko, do you remember seeing a bridge anywhere? A bridge? If I remember correctly, I saw a huge bridge over that way. Perfect. If this town really is an island, we should be able to escape over the bridge. Hmm, I guess you're right. Let's go to the bridge. We have to at least try. <gasps> what a relief. I was starting to lose hope. Ooh, spicy noodle soup. I want. Uh, I see. Good for you. <gasps> it's time for a tutorial. I like to introduce some special necessities, skills that'll turn the battle in your favor. First, bring up the menu key with escape key, and switch the skill screen with the Z key and X key. Choose skills using the A, S, W, D key, and attach, detach with the E key. Surprise! It appears you already have one skill! Hooray! If you attach this skill, you'll be able to automatically lock onto the target. By finding reference books around town, you can get new skills. Don't forget to attach them to turn on the tides of war. By the way, s attaching skills would require skill points. <sighs> skill points increase when Commodore levels up. Pretty standard stuff. Now then, defeat a lot of Monokumas and level up quick. This feels okay. Uh, oh, what? Awesome. I love these pictures, they're so good. Yeah, okay, we got that. Nagito likes beautiful things and beautiful people. He hates noisy places and ugly people. It's Nagito Kamueda. Yeah, that's so crazy. That's my save. Yay! 
since they've... Since they're hard hit, them to mush them up, and then fill the insides with green peppers, and then feed them to your dog. Bury them in a hole, so that they're... So that only their nose sticks out, and measure how long it takes for them to die. Make a game with a friend when you... Where you snap off their arms and legs, and whoever keeps theirs alive longest wins. Get their blood with a needle and put it in a cat, and then make a super cat demon, and then kill it. Get a bunch of demon butts, and then make a drum set with them and make a song, haha. <laughs> Use a demon's mouth as a cage for bugs, and invite a bunch of bugs and save them, and then kill the demon. Or kill them regular. Simple as busto, yes. Oh, that's spoopy. Okay, let's save. That gaudy looking car. It's made by Toa. C can you move it with the hacking gun? Mm, probably. As I thought, Master's gun is perfect. Even idiots can use it. Rude. That kid was playing with a body. It's not a rare sight around here. at other places. Well, I guess I gotta go that way. And shoot you from all the way over here, though. You are this indeed dead. It's like a war zone. <laughs> the fucking pelvic thrusts. Pelvic thrusts into the future. The right not to kill. One early morning in August, station staff Tato, who's almost made it to the retirement age, is shot through the heart. Around the same time, Suichi Tadakoro, a train nerd, falls in love. He must solve this mystery of the Tada killing. The third entry of the Hanukawago series. Only those with the right not to kill have the right, have the will to not be killed. Hmm. The author is some anime nerd. No doubt about it. Hmm? hmm? What makes you say that? 80% of authors who write books with drugs, guns, and high school girls in them are anime nerds. It's a safe bet. Like knowing your white shirt is gonna get splashed when you eat curry. Um... Yeah, putting aside the curry thing. I'm a high school girl and I have this hacking gun. Is this some anime nerd fantasy? Don't mess with me! Do not associate a gift my master gave you with anime nerd imagination nonsense. Keep considering condescending. Keep being condescending, and I'll cut you with a kitchen utensil the master chefs have heard of. Stop it! It's even more terrifying not knowing what it could possibly be. But, but seriously, I don't know much about guns. I barely know how to work this thing. You really don't have a sharp memory, do you? It sends program codes in the form of radio waves that hacks the target machine. Yeah, I don't get it. Get that at all, but... It sounds really cool. Jeez, you didn't get my explanation at all, did you? Which reminds me. Mm, that doesn't work on every machine, right? I wonder why not. Well, I'm just an intern, so I don't really know the details. Oh shit. Hello. Hello. Hello? Eh, something. No, I don't want to skip. Oh, no, I'll never know what happened. Cute. Anyway, 
Okay, maybe it's made so that it doesn't work on machines you don't need to use. Well, that's inconvenient. Well, that's convenient. But I have learned one thing. What? What's that? The gun works as well as you. Uh, this gun works as well on humans as the ray guns do against Crystal Bully. Well, that's an obscure reference. How old did you say you were? Well, let's see if we can go places. You tell me to go there, but I'm like spooked. If we work together, work together with you. Uh, guess we don't have a choice. Do you wash your hands? Of course, I wash my hands. Hmm. Yeah, we're helping each other. Oh no! <laughs> Bara Monokuma has appeared! Should be fine. Oof, at least I hope there's no more. I'm gonna be sucky. There's another electric car. Omaru, your turn. Oh! Highly anticipated body. Oh, what? What was that? What does this do? No, no, no. Let me see what it does. Max HP one. Huh. I'm on your TV. Wait, are your parents home? Is that allowed? There's a little bit more lag than the compu. Jeez, there are roadblocks all over the place. Can't get around easily. Based on where we are. The bridge should be on the opposite side of this hotel. What should we do? It looks like we can get through right here. Uh, are you telling me we have to walk through this busted up hotel? Oh, this is the worst. Oh my. Now we gotta walk through here. For a tutorial, this right here is a toy vending machine popular with the kids, the Mona Mona machine. By shooting move at the machine, you can send it for free just once. There's another scarier... There's nothing scarier than free things. I sure hope nothing bad happens. I said it might be useful in battle will drop, so use it whenever you see one. Alright! Well, it would be rude not to, I guess. Hmm. Oh, this is kind of cool how they do the moving stuff. Put paint on it. 
in before spooky hotel. It's already spooky. I already screamed once. Got an idea. Look, if we use this telephone to call the police, won't they come save us? The police? That collective of psychos that think all humans are criminals until proven innocent? Yes. That's quite a bias. It's a shitty idea. There's no way it'd go through. Telephones, internet, nothing. Huh? Nothing works? If they did, this whole problem would have been solved by now. Jeez. Use your brain. You're seriously useless. More useless than... than a salmon that already laid its eggs. Aww. You don't have to be so mean about it. We cut up our friends. Jeez. Let's go in here and see what's in here. I don't trust that open door. The unstoppable man. Triathlon, boxing, rock climbing. Ooh. Okay. Saburu Karin tackles them all non-stop. What is his newest challenge? What is the reason why he doesn't stop? What is the single scene that will finally make him stop? If you start reading, you won't stop either. Saburo's Kirin's autobiography, unabridged masterpiece edition. Hmm. Unstoppable. There's no way I'll be able to do it. I'm pretty tired. Uh, I'm getting pretty tired. <sighs> you think you're tired? If you're tired, I don't even have a word for how tired I am. Maybe I knew onomatopoeia to express the sheer tiredness. Huh? You're tired? You don't really look like it, Toko. Isn't that obvious? I'm a little arch to the core. No energy at all. Don't mess with me. Aren't you younger than me? Telling me you're tired already. Mm -hmm. My age doesn't affect how tired I am. Which reminds me. Why? Well, hey, how old are you? Your tricks won't work on me. Huh? What? You're trying to show how young you are by comparing yourself to my age, aren't you? Trying to add old hag onto the usual insults of ugly and gloomy and smelly. Uh, that's not true at all. I was just curious. Hmm. Doesn't matter. I won't tell you. You're hiding it makes me want to know even more, Toko. Makes me think that maybe you're even older than I imagined. Nothing. No way. I'm five or six years older than you. <laughs> no way, you're younger than that either. Don't mess with me. I very well could be. Okay, why is this door open? Tell me your secret door. Or I guess not. Whatever. I say emergency too! Hmm. I can't pick it up even though it's an extra battery. Emergency! Emergency! The predecessor to the corporation Toa Group was a small factory called Toa Ironworks, which first opened its doors 200 years ago. Tokushigi Toa, who became the first chairman of Toa Group, established Toa Ironworks entirely by himself. Because iron manufacturing was a new, blossoming industry, 
The Toa Ironworks soon dominated 70% of the market. But Togushi Toa was not yet satisfied. He also had a hand in other business ventures such as bamboo forests and foreign trade, and continued to show his strong will and brilliant business sense. Incredibly, from age 30 to his death at 64, he established new, a new business once every 20 days. Togushi's wife, Tomoko Toa, had this to say about her husband. When I asked him why he always pushes himself, he would always say that it's for the sake of the prosperity of mankind. Without Tokushiga's Toa's unflagging devotion to the advancement of mankind, neither Toa Group nor Toa City would exist today. Hmm. I guess that door will open. Oh, long hallways of Where doom. Fuck it. easy to get the... Wow. Okay, and here we go. There's nothing in here. a broken room, so it's just an empty room. Okay, that's lame. Uh, Demon name, Takakits. Real name, Takaki Ishimaru. Demon who was a policeman in the demon world. Maybe carrying the item gun, so be very careful when you hunt it. Also, its father its father is a super rare demon who is a former prime minister. If you hunt it down while leaving some body parts behind, your friends are going to be jealous. Tickle its weak spot, the sides, and kill it when it starts laughing. Science Memorial Hall. What? Um... What is this? Hit list? That doesn't sound good. But that's... This is... Hmm? D did you remember something? You're right. Yeah, it's probably something that brats made. A list made so that they can efficiently hunt and kill targets like you. I impossible. But, but that's... Why would they do that? Take a look at this part. It says hunting grounds. With a stupid title, hit list. It's gotta be those brats. They made this. So cruel. But does that mean there's other people who are being hunted by the children? Nothing. I'm not so sure, but that does seem likely. But... Well, why would something like this? You're right. Well, I doubt they're passing this list around to adults, so some brat must have dropped it. Um, if that's the case, we have to hurry and tell this person. The children know where they are. No. Your life is more important than that right now. I understand how you feel, but we have to go on. If we run into them, we'll let them know then. That's how we have to handle this for now. I impossible. I is that really okay? Anyways. Don't think of it in terms of good or bad. It is what it is. I see. I, I see. It is what it is. Okay. Oh, 
free. <laughs> oh, my health is full. I don't need it. God for the good hits. Whew. There's an arcade machine over there. Destroy them all with one dis explosion. I mean, would we have to do a move one? Oh, that's what I'm thinking we'd have to do, right? <gasps> Tutorial time! The last room's clear requirement was to get past without getting caught. But from now on, arcade machine room's clear requirements will be kill all enemies. Now destroying all the enemies, the wall in your way will disappear, so you can move on. All arcade machines rooms have strategies that can destroy all the enemies at once. This one is made to clear in one shot by sniping the bomber monokuma at the right spot. Of course, you could just clear them all by with genocide jack, but if you use it too much, it might affect how that being judges you. At the top left of the screen is a hint for clearing that room. Only use the ammo at the top right of the screen. And that being will be impressed. Huh? Who is that being, you say? It's that being who loves you deeply. Well, anyway, I believe looking for the strategy is the best way for thing. Oh, for you to smart people to try. Oh, I almost forgot. If something happens and you feel like you're stuck, please choose retry from the menu. By using retry affects that being's review, so... But using ref retry affects that being's review, so play wisely. Okay, it's right there. Turn around, Monokuma. Congrats! That being, who's watching me? Okay. Whole lot of dead bodies over here. Love letter. This might be the last one you ever receive, so open it. You don't have to make it sound so ominous. Challenge if you want to know the password, try asking this. If you want to know the password, try asking the upside down bird. to solve a riddle. You put the right answer in here. What, what the heck? 
This is no time to be playing games like this. I want to slap this brat in the face for this. Monokuma's would ambush us if I did. It's a pain in the ass. We gotta do it. Then leave it to me. This kid's riddle will be child's play. <laughs> wow. Did, did you just make a pun? Wow. That does not inspire confidence. No, it does not. Challenge There's turn. an arcade machine over there. Maybe we should try using that. We have to ask the upside down bird? No! Oh, my house is full. Upside down bird. What is this? Oh! Picture it upside down. I feel like I've seen this trick before. Picture it upside down. Ugh, it says hell right now, but if it was upside down, it'd be 7734. I had to like get up from my chair and actually look at it. 7734, okay. 7734. Yay! It's open! Oh, oh yeah! That's right! Who's the boss now? D don't be gloating about beating a little kid. But we didn't. Oh, there's a sparkly over there. Though, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history and trapped the entire world in despair, Toa City's too strong. It is often argued that the technical string Toa Group prides itself on was a huge deterrent to the spread of despair. The mastermind behind this incident must have assumed that Toa City's technological superiority. Oh, actually, that Toa City's technological superiority would be too much to defeat. Experts say that the influence of Toa Group is now so strong it could be even a deterrent against global warfare. do such cool things and they probably don't have a re a real reason from what I can tell they're just doing it for fun it, they're doing something like this for fun what are these kids You're right. when I got here they were already wearing those helmets and marching in the streets killing the adults and bringing monokumas with them like a parade why do they hate the adults like I said I have no idea I'm just as confused as you are. Stop asking me about every little thing. Aww. Jeez, you don't have to be so angry. <sighs> it's because you nag just like those brats. Gives me a battery, which I guess I needed. Oh, 
little kid right here too. Well, I was thinking there was a sparkly over here. I guess not. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check just in case, because I'm that type of person who has to check everywhere. Okay, we gotta- we out of here. Thanks for staying. I'm gonna just do my escape. Okay, Messi, have a good day! Wherever you may go. Oh, there is a sparkly. I knew it. Study book. Electric up. Actually, let's go look at that. This is paralysis time. Wait, why don't I have that on? Despair. Okay. No oh, spoopy time. Just a little more. We're going to be all right. I wonder if it will really end this easily. Huh? I I have a bad feeling about this. This bridge has a, a dangerous scent. Hey! You two go over there. You guys don't look like you're with those kids. That means you're on my side, right? Right? Huh? Uh, yeah. Double? I knew it! Yes, oh, this is fantastic! Man, it's been forever since I've seen a normal person. I'm so happy. I hate this kind of guy. Just walking up and talking to a girl like it was nothing. Uh, I think this handshake is over now. Hey! How much longer are you gonna hold her hand? You're like a creepy fan meeting an idol. Uh, no, it's not like that. It's just this wristband. Could it be? Were you also captured by those kids who call themselves the Warriors of Hope? Huh? And then you got thrown out here and told it was part of some game, right? Well, look! Me too! What? Oh, that wristband. Oh, this is great. Well, not completely great. I'm already at my wit's end trying to figure out what to do. I guess I was just so relieved to see someone in the same spot I'm in. Still, could be better. I sort of understand. I'm also a little glad to know that I'm not alone in this situation. Right? Right? Oh, that reminds me. I never Ow. told you my name. I'm Yuta Asahina. Ah, <gasps> Yuta? Asahina? Oh! She, he's a sibling of Ai! Ai! I'm Komoro Naegi. Nice to meet you, Yuda. Okay. Komoro Naegi. What are you doing? Oh, this? If you want to really remember a name, write it down on your palm three times. Oh, I see. I I've never heard of that. I have. Oh, but seriously, it is so reassuring to finally have a friend to work together with. Oh, hey, by the way, who's this? She's been, um, glaring at me this whole time. Oh, uh, this is Toko. Toko Fukawa. It's fine. You don't have to make introductions like this. Not for an outcast like me. Listen to you two going on like you're lovers already and you j just met it, it's not like that well come on i'm sure we'd all be happier on that side of the bridge now let's hurry up and get out of this town toko we should go too what is it like i said i i don't like it 
have a very bad feeling about this. Oh, you're just being paranoid. Come on, if we don't hurry, Yuta will leave us behind. Hey! Don't just run off! Hold on! Hmm. This way! Let's go! Yuda! Slow down! So he's athletic too. Must be in the jeans. It must Hurry, be. This way. I mean, he's a sibling of Oi. Across this bridge, we're outside Toa City. I'm sure those kids won't chase us. Once we're out of this town, let's celebrate by toasting with sports drinks. Huh? Wait, hold on. Are you kidding me? What's going on here? The bridge collapsed. N no. Isn't there something we can do? There's nothing we can do. It's impossible to get over the bridge now. Damn it, we were almost there. Stop screwing with us. What the hell is this? Yeah. Hm. How pathetic. Giving up right away just because things got a little screwed up. Oop. Sorry, I'm like cursing things. If you have the energy to shout and scream like that, use it to move your weak ass instead. Huh? Move? Just go back to the city. This part of the bridge might be unstable as well. Hmm. Go back? You want us to actually go back there? Hmm. Yes. That's the only way. Hmm. If you want to live, you can't always take the easy path. Sometimes you gotta take the painful ones. Hmm. On that path, you might suffer and writhe in pain, but at least you'll survive. You say that as if you've experienced it before. Oh, geez. This is bad. The bridge is going to collapse. Run. All right, let's go back. Oop. Damn it, if this keeps up, the whole bridge is going to collapse. At least I got time. Before the great end. Is there some way we can move this? What's with them? Omaru, do something. There you go. I'm trying to blow that thing up, but it wouldn't change. Right, let's run. Full speed. We gotta run. It's gonna collapse. I know, I know. Damn it, they came out again. <laughs> We're done for. I almost died. Just a bit more now. We made it. I, I thought we were 
we're gonna die. We're safe for now. Mm -hmm. But with a bridge like this, there's no way we can get across. N no, we have no chance of escape. Mm -hmm. No, not yet. I'm not gonna give up yet. Why are you yelling? How do I explain it? Well, with all the despair I've felt so far, I've prepared myself. And if I don't do everything I can, I know that nothing's gonna get solved. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? I'll swim! What? Swim? Yeah, I mean, my specialty is more track and field. I'm not that confident in swimming. Well, it's not that I'm not a good swimmer, it's just... There was always someone better. But now's not the time for that. Can't chicken out now! Hmm. Wait! Even if you are gonna swim, it looks really far to the other side. Yeah, that looks pretty tiring. But the water is freezing, and with all the pollution, uh, there are weird creatures in there. Then I guess I'll just be extra careful. No, it's not that. I'm telling you not to try it, you idiot swimmer. D don't be a hero. Idiot swimmer? But I'm on the track team. <sighs> anyway, this isn't the time to rush into things. Let's think this out. I'm honored that you worry about me, but I've already made up my mind. So you're just going to refuse to listen to reason? Hmm. Dog can go like three cups race dog on love. Look, all I have to do is ask for help from those future foundation guys after I cross, right? I'll bring back help. I promise. No matter what it takes. So just wait for me until then, okay? Uh, Yuda? Hmm? Um, be careful. If you run into any trouble, come back right away, okay? Hey, no need to worry. I'll get to the other side any way I can. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this, to be honest. just saw. Do you seriously think that it's possible for him to be alive after that? No. <laughs> you gain nothing from averting your eyes from reality, no matter how horrible or painful. Listen, we saw Yuta Asahina, and we saw that huge explosion. He's dead. Died. Yuda died. <laughs> but why? The reason doesn't matter. Even if we refuse to accept or understand it, it's the truth. That's reality. <laughs> Aww. Nothing's going to change, no matter how hard you cry. <laughs> Come on, 
That's enough. If you're done crying, we should get going. If we stay here, we're going to be an easy target for Monokumas. It's, it's impossible. Impossible? What are you talking about? If you just give up now, you're going to die. Well, I'm just gonna die anyway. I'm like you. I'm... I'm just some normal, regular girl. I... I can't even do anything. No matter what I do, or how hard I try, I'm... I'm just gonna die here. So you're saying you're just giving up? Stop screwing around. I won't let you. You want to die, huh? Well, if you really want to die that much, I won't stop you. But are you really sure you want to die? You, you, you want to die right here? In this place? Not seeing your family or friends ever again? Are you really just going to accept that? Of course not. I want... I want to see my family. But... But we've been separated for over a year. I don't even know where they are. It's probably too late anyway. I'll probably never see them again. <laughs> Can't you just be a little more positive instead of giving up right away all the time? No. You don't understand. The worst despair of all comes from having hope like that. Having such strong hope and just losing it in an instant. Like what we just saw. So why don't you just overcome that despair as well? Although I doubt you're even willing to listen in your state. If that's the case, at least run. You're saying that you're going to die anyway. So you're at least prepared, right? Hmm. If you think you're going to die, at least run away. If you're wrong, you live. Huh. If you were right, then at least you die on the run. And not just standing here, suffering. Hmm. Why? Why do you bother trying to cheer someone like me up? Like I said, I'm a member of Future Foundation. And I can't just... abandon you. But if you keep up that sniveling and crying, I'll start to seriously consider it. <laughs> okay, I'll try. At least a little bit longer. Jeez, you're such a burden. You said to just run, but what are our options at this point? The bridge is a no-go, and there's no other way to get out of town, right? Did you forget what I just told you? You can't just give up right away. Anyway, now that I think about it, I remember a subway running through this town. Huh? A subway? Did the subway line go out of the city? N yeah, I think it did. You should have said that before! Well, sorry. I just remembered it right now. And besides, there's no way the trains work. You're right. If the power's out, they definitely won't be working. We're trapped. Ugh, like I said, you can't give up so easily. Even if the train stopped working, we can get out of town if we just walk along the tracks. So don't give up. And let's go. I yeah. Okay. Yeah, Toko's actually really nice in this game. In her weird Toko way. I don't know if it's okay to say this, but... I'll do it for you to sake as well. Jeez, you're simple-minded. Getting all riled up from a half-assed speech like that. But still, I... The way Yuta died, there's no way I can just keep it secret from that idiot swimmer. Mm-hmm. Well, either way, first, Master and I need to get out of this town. So, where's the subway? We didn't see it on the way over here. I... I'm not sure exactly. We'll just have to find it ourselves. Well, Toko, I'm starting to think that if we work together, we can find it for sure. 
Stop wasting your breath on sentimental crap and let's get moving already. Oh jeez. Toko, let's get out of here together, okay? It, it might be better if we go back to where we came out of that hotel before. We went straight for the bridge last time. There should be a path going the opposite way. Then let's go over there. Ooh, everything's all like weird. Oh shit, hello. Over here? No, there's nothing over there. Oh no. him get out of here monokuma little weirdo trying to spoop your way into my heart and into my kokoros that ain't gonna work Says, I feel like a in on on huh. Can't read it. Even though it is hiragana, I'm like I don't remember. What's with this kid? Looks like a shop. Welcome. It's time for a tutorial. Here you use one of coins to purchase bling bullets and boost your scissors. Very soft for me explain purchasing bling bullets. Here you can purchase bling bullets. Think of bling bullets as special add-on effects that attach to truth bullets. If you're overwhelmed by all your choices, the items with crown marks are goodbye. New bling bullets arrive occasionally, so be sure to check them periodically. Bling, bling bullets can be attached in the truth bullets screen in the menu with the escape key. After selecting a truth bullet, choose the bling bullet you want to attach. Each truth bullet can take two bling bullets. Wow. I've heard that depending on the combination, you can activate a special skill. Yep. Try out the various combinations to make the ultimate bling bu bullet, uh, truth bullet. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about boosting the scissors next. Here you can increase the effectiveness of scissors Genocide Jack uses. Lucky for you, we've prepared a few different kinds of boosts for the scissors. However, the wind may blow and you need not worry. Take as much time as you need to decide. Unlike bling bullets, scissor boosts do not need to be attached. When you buy a boost, it's automatically applied, but I prefer the laid back generation. And that concludes the tutorial. Enjoy the shop! Welcome! Let's buy these. Whee! Purchase legally. Okay. Hmm. Actually, let's go for here. More combo attacks. You know what? Let's go for this. Okay. This. Another one of this. Oops. Let's do okay. that. Look away. Let's do that. <laughs> and let's 
Let's see what else do we gotta do. I love these little pictures. Took him at attempt to swim across the gap. Yeah. It's so weird that Togo is a uh, Pisces, I believe. Japanese though. Tutorial time. If a siren monokuma finds you, they will summon the monokumas in the area. Be very careful not to get caught and be absolutely terrible. Just awful. Oh, well, I guess it's a bit late for this warning. My bad. Oh my god, I ran from it. And I'm missing... I need to go shopping for bullets. I don't have enough. Magazine. A publication which boasts the highest circulation in the world recently published their 100 most influential corporations in the world list. While groups from across the globe made the list, the unanimous first place went to Toa Group. The article praised Toa Group's quick response to the tragedy and their own raving support efforts. Far and even away, the greatest gift Toa Group had given to the world was the invention of the air purifier that allowed massive quantities of atmosphere to be breathable again. Potentially millions of lives have been saved with this invention. Many Toa group and supporters have a nearly religious devotion to the company, thanks to their efforts against the incident. Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll just go on through. Whoa, another one! Looks like this Monokuma kid has a gift for us. Nance! Time for a tutorial. It appears you have tamed Dance Dance is another kind of truth bullet. Enemies hit with it can't move or attack. In other words, they're weak as a baby. It's a powerful truth bullet and it's even more effective against Siren Monokumas. Nearby Monokumas will be drawn to the Siren hit by Dance. Now throw a fast moving electric car into that party. Well, I'll let you figure out what happens after that. <laughs> Those kids are our enemies, right? Why are they helping us? Looks like that ammo you just picked up and that electric car over there could be useful. Hmm. It's because it is. Run 
I don't think there's anything else, is there? Okay, let's go. Um. Um. Are you alright? Eek. Uh, kid. Are, are you a kid? No, I'm not. We're being attacked by the children too. I'm on your side. I see. I see. I'm sorry. I have to always have my guard up, you know, or else I'll end up dead. I know it's pathetic, surviving by running and hiding like a coward. Huh? You ran all the way here by yourself? No. No, at first it was my whole family with me, but no, I'm the only one. My parents and my wife all ended up prey to those monokumas. Um, if you want, do you want to come with us? I'm sure it'll be better than running alone. Tempting offer. But I'm sorry, I can't. My right leg's torn up from a monokuma. I can't run with this one. Uh, with just one leg. Then I'll lend you my shoulder. No. No, it's fine. I already left my family down. I can't bring harm to two strangers. But. But. What's going on? He said it's fine. We're barely moving fast enough as it is. I can't protect an adult with a bad leg too. He has a better chance of surviving if he hides somewhere by himself. Yes. Yeah, she's right. Thanks for your concern, but she's absolutely right. Correct. Well, if that's the case, okay. <sighs> cry, cry. Huh? What's this out of nowhere? I let my family die right in front of my eyes, and now I'm making two young girls pity me. I'm pathetic. Stiffle. Just pathetic. Well, at least you're alive, so that's a thing. That's not where I wanted to go. We're coming back, and he's dead. No, he's not dead. Hmm. Carnial Sentai Spin Ranger. Dawn containers sell bowl, mallow, food. Most five friends run a small, unassuming soup shop. However, the chosen warriors cannot stay soup salesmen forever. With the mighty storm power, they transform into Tornail Sentai Spin Rangers and battle tirelessly day and night against the evil phantoms. This is the eye of the Tornail Entertainment. Spin the world with Spin Ranger. What's going on? Why are all the books we found in this town trashy? Did anyone. Did everyone with good taste die off or something? Um, I'm sure the person who dropped this was just a kid. All boys have a super fate. Uh, have a superhero phase after all. Don't mess with me. Oh, boys, don't you dare! My noble master Biagia would never befool himself, befoul himself with his childish crap. Hmm, don't you think Biagia is kind of like a superhero in a way? Huh? What do you mean? Like, when he rescued me, his timing was so perfect, just like a hero's. Master doesn't think of you as his damsel in distress at all. You're no Louise, you're no Lois Lane, woman. Uh, I didn't mean it like that. <sighs> well, I can never be too careful. You never know who's a homewrecker until it's too late. But, but I know what you mean. You've got the perfect timing. Well, it's a strange coincidence lately. Monokuma's aunt ambush this town exactly when Future Foundation arrived to save you. It's too convenient to be coincidence. Um... Pialgia said that the reason they came here was because they received an anonymous rescue plea. Do you think the children did it? You're right. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh... And the children were targeting the Future Foundation from the beginning? Why? Hmm. <laughs> How would I know? But it does seem to fit. So I can't imagine what kind of grudge they could have against Future Foundation. The only thing I know for sure is that we can't underestimate these brats, or we'll end up dead. Mm hmm. Hmm. I'll hope there aren't any more unpleasant surprises. <laughs> Whew. Okay. I 
it's 12. That means we're done! Well... Oh, we did such a small little thing. It was so good. Wah, wah, wah. Boy, did a boys! And girls! And whoever! We're here. We did it. Run the spare girls! I mean, now we gotta do this stuff. Oof. I don't know how I feel about it. That's gonna get crazy! Oh, Taka kicks. Yeah, him. Remember that one. That's not what I wanted. Mangas. I don't wanna read that one either. So, yeah! Yay! That's done for now. That means we get to continue tomorrow. Anyway, guys. See you later. Thank you for joining me for the first episode. Yay! Don't forget that if anyone actually wants to look up on the rest of the episodes, all of my episodes of Dragon Rumpa will be archived onto YouTube. Yay! Anyway. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a good morning, afternoon, or night, wherever you may be. And thank you all for joining me once again in the start of a new game where I might get spooked and be like, ah, you know, more spooked than usual. Time to sleep with the lights on, because, you know, whew, whew, my poor little tiny heart, my poor little Kokoro. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later. See you tomorrow, actually. Goodbye! Yeah! And... Woo.